Okay, guys, welcome to, um, um, a black and white Wi-Fi battle. Yep, 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 to the black and white Wi-Fi battle. Um, today I'm going to be using my, uh, hail team. It was supposed to be a hail stall team, and it's going to do just that. However, it's not going to stall the way you think it's going to stall. Because Obama Snow is not going to be in this game for very long, and, uh, well, he predicts me and goes for the Rain Dance. That's a pretty awesome Persian, so... My Jellicent is just chilling on a Rain Dance. I can pretty much go for any water move I want, but I don't think I actually have a water move. So I have to use Toxic, and Toxic's not good, so, um... Persian will slowly die eventually, but he's just going to switch out here and, um... Stop this Persian from horribly dying. So, that's how that works, and, uh, he goes into... Um, that thing, that Kingdra, which I taunt so he can't Dragon Dance or anything, which makes uh, Jellicent rather safe, but he's not gonna Dragon Dance, he's gonna go for Outrage, he's gonna try and hatch me, and he's gonna do it, cause boom, 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 gone. My Jellicent gets crit, and it loses its life. That, that, that was horrible. So I go into Obama Snow to get my su snow back up and be all like, I can take you, I can take you all day long, bro. So he smacks me with Outrage, and goes boom, 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 crit. So I lose my Obama Snow, and, um, blah, 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 blah. yeah. So since Obama Snow's down, he snaps his er, out of confusion with Lumberry. I'm in a really bad situation. I would pretty much just want to cry right here for losing so bad. At least I have a hail up, so I'll go straight into Glaceon. Glaceon, the ultimate Pokemon. So I'm going for Blizzard because it's perfect accuracy in the sun, or er, snow, I and mean, hail. Thank you. The hail. It's perfect accuracy in the hail, so it'll have no trouble breaking Kingdra with my massive special attack stat. I'm just going to stay in and spam that wish for some reason. I guess I was expecting him to go for Outrage, and, um, yeah, that didn't go well. But since he did get Persian in, he's safe to go for a Rain Dance and ruin my Blizzard for the rest of the game. So, uh, yeah, I have a low accuracy Blizzard, which completely misses the Persian because it's a low accuracy Blizzard, and it has 70% accuracy. So we're back on a Kingdra to, uh, take my Blizzard, but, um, no, you can't take a Blizzard. I'm a Glaceon. Go away. So Glaceon kills, um, Kingdra. That's one down. Glaceon is on a roll. He goes into his Ludicolo and, uh, protects himself from my, or I protect myself from him, but he uses Sword Dance, which is really good because this is a physical bulky Glaceon, not a special bulky Glaceon. So I can take that attack and roar him away. Even in the rain, it didn't do much. So, there's Persian, Mr. Poison himself, and, uh, I'm gonna get my leftovers, he's gonna get his poison, and, um, he's gonna try and hypnosis me, which actually does hit. His hypnosis hits, and that, well, means I'm asleep for the few turns. But I'm gonna stay in, because I know Persian can't do anything to me, so I might as well just stay in and try and wake up and continue phasing, because I really don't have anything better to go into. So he switches into his Ludicolo, thinking he could sit up all over my Glaceon sleeping face. You know, that would be the case if, um, I didn't carry Roar, so, yeah. He goes for Sword Dance, and, um, it's pretty chill, but I'm still snoozing. I'm like, Glaceon, wake up! And it uh, doesn't do it, so, you know, uh, now I wake up, but I'm using Protect because I expected the Waterfall, and I wanted to stall out the rain. So I do just that. I, I wake up, I go for the Protect, the rain stops, and now his Waterfall isn't going to do jack. But instead, he predicts me to switch or something and goes for the Ice Punch, which isn't doing anything at all. So I just roar him away, and so there we go. He's out of the way, and then comes Quillfish. Quillfish is a um, pretty gentle Pokemon. I mean, it really can't do anything, but I'm going to predict him st to do stuff, and I'm going for the Wish, I believe. I, I think I go for Wish, because I don't know what I was going to use. I thought it, was, might, it might explode or something, so I went straight for Wish. But he gets the Poison on me with the um, Poison Jab, and that's going to slow my revivability a little here. But it's just regular poison and not toxic, so I could stay in pretty much all day. Here, I predicted him to try and attack me or set up, so I just roared him away, and I'm like, no, be, go away. He went back on the Ludicolo, and I get my health back from the Wish, which is pretty chill. Um, <laughs> emphasis on the cold part, but, you know, there we go. So we got Ludicolo just chilling here, and, um, I can handle Ludicolo. So I'm going to just spam Blizzard, knowing I'm not going to survive for very long. So I hit the Blizzard button, and I hit the Persian. There we go. Another Pokemon down. That's two kills for Glaceon. What? I don't need no freaking hail. I can win with any weather, because I'm a Glaceon. So we go to the Quillfish. I'm like, okay, so you're sending Quillfish on me. I'm going to roar you away. So go away. Roar! And now Glaceon roars out the Ludicolo again, which is awesome, because I'm not afraid of Ludicolo. He's outside of the rain, so I'm just going to go for the Blizzard attack. And uh, he goes for Waterfall. <laughs> so that doesn't bother me, because it does a lot and gets a crit. But I went for the Wish, so it doesn't matter. 
screw the blizzard, I went for the wish. I, I, I figured he was going to try to attack me this turn, I guess. I just predicted him perfectly. And, you know, I, scout, I have no choice but to go for protect here. So, I did. And, well, he waterfalled because he tried to kill me. and Because his Glaceon's a pain in his tail and stuff. So, yeah, but he doesn't kill me because, uh, you know, I'm a Glaceon and I had to protect. So, um... I'm gonna predict him to set up or something, and I just go for another wish. <laughs> no, I went for Blizzard! Crap! I went for Blizzard! Man, I'm not doing very good um, narrating this today. But my Blizzard misses, and, um... Yeah, that's how stuff goes. He switches out Lady Cola for some godforsaken reason, and I go for the Blizzard. Smashing Quillfish's horrible defenses and getting a crit. Yep, that's three Pokémon killed by um, a weakened, poisoned... Glaceon, that's awesome. Three down, one, uh, three to go. Can Glaceon keep it up? So in comes Rotom, um, yeah, I'm not staying out of that. So I switch into Blissey, because Blissey can take any electric moves it has. Now, this is pretty cool, because this is just pretty much how the game's going to end. Because Blissey pushed all the other team members I have, because all I lost so far was a Bomb of Snow and, um, Jellicent. So I still have four perfectly good team members to stall out with. So I poison the Rotom with Toxic and uh, I get paralyzed myself, so that's pretty chill. I go for the Wish, hoping I can Wish Pass back to my Glaceon. But, considering there's a Rotom out, I really don't want to risk the pass. I'm just going to stay in and protect here. But he predicts that and goes for a Switch, I guess, which is kind of weird. I mean, why would you predict to protect at this point in the game? It doesn't make any sense. So yeah, he gets a Ludicolo. I can't stay in on that because it's a physical attack and Blissey can't take physical hits. So I go into my tentacle to wall every attack it has, um, barring the grass move, but um, I haven't seen one yet, so I didn't know what it had as the last move. But it does have Seed Bomb, which is going to do a pretty good crap ton of damage to me. Um, I do have Rain Dish, so if he sets up Rain again, I can easily just heal up. So I'm going to set up a layer of Toxic Spikes, trying to threaten his um, Kabutops that he's left, because uh, I don't know if it was Focus Sash or something stupid, so uh, that's what I did. And then I go for the Sludge Bomb to get a lot of damage on Ludicolo, but it doesn't quite kill it, so... Um, I'm forced to switch here because I don't want to lose my Tentacruel yet, just in case I need it for later. And I go into Shigura, I'm predicting the uh, Seed Bomb, of course, because it's the only move that would kill Tentacruel. And it does nothing, because Arcanine's a bulky beast. So he switches back out into Rotom, but I didn't care. I went for Flare Buds, knowing I can hit anything on the scene for at least good damage. So Rotom just gets smashed all across the world. Look at that power. This is an Expert Belt Arcanine, so um, I'm going to try and flaunt, predict, or um, just, like, um... My uh, ninja. Okay, I don't know. I, I went back into Tentacruel and um, I took the waterfall rather with ease because you know it's a Tentacruel and he's got poison on him now because of the toxic spikes. So I'm gonna toxic stall him and protect. I'm like, yeah, Ludi Colo, dance on that. So I get more HP back with my Black Slug and uh, Ludi Colo is just yeah, it's not doing so hot. But he withdraws his Ludi Colo. I'm not sure why he did that. And he goes to the Kaboo Tops, which now gets poisoned. So that's pretty chill. And I go for Protect again, because I wanted to double Protect and just, like, you know, stall out the Ludi Colo as much as possible. Um, doesn't quite happen. He goes into Waterfall and, um, just finishes me off. That's chill. I don't know if that crit mattered. I'm pretty sure it didn't. I mean, it is a Kaboo Top, so... But it does have the leftovers. It, it's a tough call. So there we go, I go back into my Shigure, no way I can finish him off, because I'm not bluffing the scarf anymore, I'm just going to go for it. And there we go, I go for the close combat, and uh, Kabutops is finished. There's no way I could have possibly survived. And his, his last Pokemon is Ludicolo, so I can finish it off with an extreme speed rather easily. That is good game. It was awesome, I had a lot of fun in this game, because I thought I was going to lose for sure at the beginning. But that's how things roll, you know? It, well, anyways, this has been Digipal3, a.k.a. Glee, and the Tritail Fox. See you next time.